Welcome to the channel all about economic board games. Today I'm giving you a run through of Chicago Express, an older game brought out in 2007. We've got the designer at the top here brought to you by these guys. Now this is a two to six player game, roughly 60 minutes plus and it's a light to medium complexity one. And we are investors building, uh, or should I say investing in railroad companies. There's four here and Warbosh will come out potentially later on in the game you'll be using your own hard-earned money and it'll be invested into these companies to help develop them build railway tracks develop houses onto the board and improve your income in the hope of getting more dividends paid out and that is it most money wins the game now interestingly in this game as i mentioned in the overview you you can have all these shares but they're worth squat diddly do at the end of the game it's literally trying to maximize the dividends throughout the game which is the key so i'm going to do a two player run through i'll be acting as two players basically as i usually do and it's 120 dollars distributed here in, uh, in the case of two players which is 60 each so uh, we've got the bank at the top here we've got these five companies this one's always kind of fixed on the board and looking at the board itself then it's made up of a load of hexes you've got these desert hexes and then you're kind of going into the forest and the mountains and you've got these various cities across the board of the red outlines which will give you potentially more income and stuff like that and as you work your way to the west you hopefully or you maybe not but it's, it's incentivized to get to chicago right at the end here the name of the game chicago express essentially getting your goods uh, developing and investing in these to push these companies to strive to to get over here. and there's a big income increase of plus seven for doing so i'm not going to go over all the rules it's, it's a pretty straightforward game really i'm just going to dive straight in and you'll you'll pick it up if you're after a sort of shorter insights to what this game's all about, check out my overview from last week. Now, the first phase we're going into is an initial auction. This isn't. Uh, this is just what you do at the beginning, and you're going to be going in this order here. So, red is going to be auctioned first. You pick a start player, and they put the opening bid on this red company, which you can't quite see in the camera view, but it's called the Pennsylvania Railroad Company. Now, red, you can see on the income track, they've got uh, the numbers five is is yellow, so that's where yellow starts, and you've got blue, red, and green. So that's where all the companies are going to start every single game, and they've also got their starting locations on the board here as well and that's fixed for every single game as well so red is being auctioned and the first player goes right they have to bid a minimum of seven and they go straight in at 10 the uh, second player is going to go 13 they go 14 it comes back to these 15 that player says pass the highest bidder gets the share so in this case 15 was the winning bid now there's only so on just below the shares you can see there's there's three shares in red i think there's four here in blue six in yellow and green's got five uh, you can put these in any order you want but i tend to put it in these colors because it reminds you the starting auction at the first round so they went in for 15 they put this share in front of them let's just say it was this player now that money goes from your pot into the company so interestingly if you don't bid or should i say if you're if your winning bid is quite low then there's less money going into the company and that's a bit of a shame because you need quite a bit of money to be able to do stuff with the company and develop it and pay the costs which will become apparent shortly so red's been bid off the next one uh, is blue whoever won the the last auction starts the opening bid which in this case is six so they're going to bid six this player's like you know what straight in at 12 14 15 these guys pass these guys get it for 15 as well so that's one blue share 15 in the pot and this keeps going so yellows are and these guys when the last auction they're like you know what i really want yellow i don't know why you would because it's, it's, it's not as scarce but let's just go 16 straight in these guys no pass so 16 goes in here you know what i'm going to call it 15 so i don't have to break this change so 15 was the bid and finally over to green they go 15 16 17 18 now oh it's 20 it's, it's gone extortionate and it's a typical auction folks you know it might not be that you want it but you're trying to bid it up for other players now this uh, so let's just say that went for 20 now this phase is absolutely critical and the reason that is is because you know, in this case, they've both got... Uh, oh, these guys have the yellow share, didn't they? They've both got two shares each. But if you manage to oust someone or you, you, you sort of miscalculate the, the price of the auction and someone gets it for like... 
ten dollars or something like that then they've got obviously they've saved themselves some money which gives them more bargaining power to bid on other things and if for example um it was like this you know these guys only had a blue and these guys had these three you can see they're a massive advantage already because when it comes to paying dividends they're going to got a, a, a bigger share of the of the payout essentially so you know you don't want to leave yourself short change you might find that you want to save a bit of money because then there is an actual option on here to go and auction them again so let's just uh so just something to bear in mind and as well you'll find later on in the game especially in sort of three four player game uh, or five to six if say for example you know it, it was obviously this wouldn't ever happen in the first round but say later on in the game that you know there's four players and two of the players happen to have identical shares but this player's been more astute of their money and has actually spent the same opening money to get free shares rather than this player who was you know enthralled in a, in a, in a big auction and, and, and got outbid and had to pay through the nose essentially at these two you can already see in this case that this player's probably from the opening round well the opening few rounds is it's feeling a little bit down because you know this person's whatever they invest in these guys are getting the benefit as well but they've got the red share so and they're gonna have to really work hard it, it can be very difficult to to catch up to another player who's got identical shares so something to bear in mind there so what do we have those two are that and this was green wasn't it so yeah this auction phase folks take care with how how much you bid so once all these have been auctioned off the blacks don't come into play till later uh, the player who has the red share will go first and this is the actions you can do so there's three actions you can either auction you can develop which is take one of these houses and put it on the board or you can increase your track uh, up to three spots and i'll go through a few intricacies on those so let's just say this player here is red they want to start investing or not investing they want to start developing tracks so you bring this up one and you can see this one has one two three actions four and five so slightly more as you go down now these guys are it was these ones wasn't it they, they got red they're thinking now you can only develop a route for a company you own a share in so they've got red and green in this case so let's just say we take up to three shares in red and we're going to go from this starting spot here philadelphia now your network however wherever you decide to go always has to connect back up to your, your start and see so let's just say we're going to go one here one here uh, we're going to go into this city which has the red outline now you can see hopefully it might be quite difficult from the, the bird's eye view we've got but this one has a little train uh, outline and it's got a red figure of minus one so that's a cost for building that route this one's got minus one and this one has minus two in red so they're going to have to pay a total of four out of the company funds to the bank and they get one change so that's why it's important to have a bit of funds there and looking at the hexes so we've gone through what should we say a desert hex a desert hex and we have hit a city in the city in this little train there is a plus one on it's, it's kind of black and that means we're going to get an increase on our income so red's going to go from seven to eight which is great more income uh, will give us potential for more dividends that is literally our action next player is going to say right i'm going to you know what they felt hard done by in the auction um, this probably isn't the best strategy i'm going to do but this is just to demonstrate what the action does so they're going to do an auction so that player will pick any of these that are available uh, you can't choose black just yet and they're deciding okay i want to get in on the red action so they're going to auction a red so what you do is you take the the one you're going to auction you just pop it aside now you can see you count up any that are in place so there's one in play plus the one that's going to be auctioned gives you a total of two shares you then look at where the current income is which is eight you divide it by the number of shares that are in play which gives you four so that is the minimum opening bid which is kind of useful because it sort of represents what the current dividend price should be so you're going to be paying more than that so you want to kind of reflect on what sort of value you're getting because if this is later on in the game that calculation you know might sort of be on 15 or or very unlikely but probably on something like 10 and you're like well do i want to bid more than 10 do i want to go well you have to bid 10 but you're going to be crazy enough to go to sort of 16 17 because are you going to make your returns back on that money because essentially that money's gone and it's all about the most money at the end of the game so they're going to bid the uh, on the red and they're going to go for a value of 10 this player's like yeah let's bid you up to 12 13 and then they pass so these guys get this share for what do we say 13 turn do, do, and two change let's just break i should have probably 
broken these up in the first place. Got a load of ones. One, two, three, four, five. Thirteen, we said, didn't we? So there we are. More money in the railway company for reds, which is great. Now, they both sort of have an invested interest. Now, this is a two-player game. It's I would probably only recommend playing this game with sort of between three and five players, probably, because it's very tit-for-tat in a two-player game. You can have some interesting scenarios, but you can see already that this player's got more shares and... Yeah, just I'd, I'd recommend a higher play count. So that is the auction. They've taken the share, more money in the pot over to this player. And as well, I should add that you can you can actually undertake one of these actions without doing it. And where that come into play is, let's just say, for example, this player wanted to do an auction. Maybe they didn't have a lot of money and they're going to do an auction. And we'll do this. They're going to do an auction. But they're like, right, I don't actually want to pick one. That's fine. Play moves on. They, they carry on of potentially never auction or never one until you hit this red line so why would they do that well if they think that this player is just going to continually do auction after auction after auction because these guys got a bit ousted in the in the initial bid and they've got not much uh, haven't got a lot of money they maybe just want to cut other players off by wasting that action to stop them from just getting more and more shares and having a, a progressive advantage because clearly being a share game and, and built developing in your railroads more shares are going to give you more dividends more money then more money to bid on other stuff so kind of an accumulative effect there so that is an interesting option to to make the most of so where were we these guys did a pretend auction and they passed these guys are going to let's just show you develop so little house symbol they develop they take one of these houses and it has to have one of your well a train it can be any any company but has to have a, a, a locomotive there and this is the only one available so there's a little house symbol with a plus one as soon as that goes on there they're going to increase any company that is currently on there, which is reds, by one on the income. So a nice way to get income out there. And that doesn't cost you as well. That's literally pop out a building, job done. Over to these guys. They're thinking, right, we better do... Well, we kind of be a bit silly to do another auction if that was... Um, they do have some money. Let's just say they're going to build some some trains at the bottom here now they're investing in reds they don't maybe want to help so much these guys they've got advantages they're going to go straight for greens so three trains in green maybe you could pick one two whatever you want and uh, we're paying the cost so let's have a, an example of this sort of uh, forest network so we're going to go one two you also don't have to go in a linear path you can just diversify here but there's only so many trains they kind of say at the top 23 25 and so on and if you really want to get to Chicago you're going to need to be really efficient as to what sort of direction you take and how you use your trains so this is just for demonstration so we're going to pay the cost of two four five six now remember you you if you do have a share if, if a couple of players have shares in green but uh, one player has, say this player has two shares in green and this player has one but they want to kind of make sure that green doesn't too well do too well they could just start directing green this way and wasting their trains and making them pay these costs just because they don't want green to inflict too much damage on another strategy they may have so we are paying what do we say we've got two four six and uh, let's get some change so we pay the reds and or should i say anywhere on the board as a red outline and this is only relating to the trains and we've got a plus one income for green over to these guys and you know what well how much money have they got probably not a lot so they've got a fair bit we will we'll, we'll, we'll develop trains as well and they're going to go for red let's try and make it to chicago for you i'm not going to do a full playthrough or run through i'm just doing a, a couple of rounds should we say so reds are going to go one two and let's go here and hope we've got enough money in the kitty i haven't actually figured out if that's the best strategy on those spots but we have gone three spots we've got a cost of two cost of two and a cost of three so that's seven to pay let's do that one five that's the money paid out of red's funds and they've got an increase of so this spot here actually no that's too soon we've got a, this city gives us an increase of one and this mountain has also got an increase of one on the train so we're actually going to go up two spots on the red for our income great stuff and that's that over to these guys and they also have red and green i think they're going to do an auction because they need to they need to match the three companies at least and we did waste that auction earlier so it's a little bit Bit so what are they going to auction then so maybe they're thinking 
Let's go for the majority in red that are really changed their game around. So they're going to go for red. And they're going to play. So again, we've got one, two shares out. This will make it three because you count the one that's coming into play. 11 divided by three is what? Three. So it's about three points something. Now you're always round up in this game. So it's going to be four. So four's the opening bid. And they're going to bid. I think they really want this. Let's just go all in. So they got 20. They're going to bid 20. And these guys, nope, they've not got enough. So probably an extortionate price to pay, but I'm just demonstrating. So bank straight in at 20, they've got the last share. Now they've got the majority, which just means they're going to get paid more dividends when it when that stage comes. But there's no more reds there. Now the way this game's going to end is once three of these piles have been depleted, that triggers game end. Once you've got three piles of these trains depleted, that's going to trigger it. If this little marker here gets to eight, that triggers it. And if there's any three or less houses here, that's going to trigger it. You'll play out then till the dividend phase, which will make sense shortly. And then whoever has the most money wins. So they did an auction. You can already see now this, this marker is in the red zone, which means you can't do any more of those actions until what's called the dividend phase. So this player is going to build a few more trains. Now, interestingly, are they really going to want to focus on red as much anymore? Because these guys are going to be getting the, the payouts from that world slightly more, which all adds up. So maybe they're going to start focusing on blue. And um, We've chosen this locomotive option. They're going to go one here, two here, and three here. So cost of one, two, three, four, five to pay. Five out of the company. They're going to gain one on the income for blue. And that's it. Over to these guys, you know what they go. Actually, they're gonna. So you can see how you can sway the length of a round. If if everyone's really trying to eat the most, you know they might do that one, that one, and 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 really trigger right then, or you could just rush one of them to to finish it, depending on what position you're in. But these guys are gonna go and build a. It was these guys, isn't it? They're gonna they're gonna build a development. And they're going to do it in red, which is in their favour because they've got a majority. And they're going to go to this spot and it's got a little plus two below it on the house. So any company on here is going to get plus two, which is only reds. And that's in their advantage to do it now before other companies get there. Now as well on the board, hopefully I'll get a chance to show you. But if you did put a house on one of these forest spots, it's got a little dollar sign. And that means you're going to get two dollars straight into your company rather than the other spots with a plus two that are increasing your income, which gives you sort of, you know, benefits over the the rounds continuously. So that one's there then. And I think it's these guys, isn't it? And they're probably going to go blues again, I reckon. So, yep, they've triggered that bit there. And they've taken three of these. And we're going to go one, two, three. Cost of two. Plus the three is five. Plus the two is seven from the blues. Now, blues have only got ten there, so they're in real trouble. Uh, well, not really, but it's um, it means they're probably going to have to slow down on the development and do a few more auctions to get some of these out to get more of that investor money into the pots. Right. So, more importantly, we have... Did we do the income? No, I don't think we did. So we got an increase of one in income. Right, that's that goes. So they've triggered two out of the three, can be any two, are in the red zones. And this triggers the dividend phase. So what happens is we start, well, any order you want, but typically go from uh, the, the furthest downwards. So red is on 13. How many shares are out there? One, two, three. 13 divided by three testing my maths is four point something so you round up it's going to be five is that right yeah five so you always round up so each share is going to get paid out five from the bank so these guys are going to get ten these guys are going to get five over to green so we've got one share out in green so that's very lucrative nine divided by one is clearly nine so they're going to get nine so you can see that diversifying and following your opponents prevents them just from getting the, the, the total dividend payout. Blue is on eight, one share. So those guys are going to get eight. And then finally, yellow is on five. So they're going to get the five as well. And then you move Detroit up one. 
So Detroit, as I mentioned, was one of the game end triggers with, in terms of when it gets to eight. So you always know you're only going to get eight dividend phases. Uh, you then reset all these to the green. And that is it. That's the dividend phase. That's sort of one round, shall we say. We then resume with whoever was next clockwise order. I can't even remember. I'm just going to go with these guys. And same again. You're going to do these actions. Let's just do a little bit more to just demonstrate what's going on. We're going to go boom. Develop some trains. They're going to go red. And we're going to go Pittsburgh and Youngstown. Hopefully we've got enough money. So four, five, six, seven, eight to pay. Quite a bit of cash in here. Two change. And they have. Right then. So we've done some stuff here. So we've got an increase of one on the income track there. Now we've gone to Pittsburgh. So this is one of the three industry towers. So they've got a black outline. We've got Wheeling, Pittsburgh, and Detroit right at the top. And these correlate to these three spots in the industry section. You see this nice little image here and this sort of section. And what happens is that the, the first train there, it's got a little plus symbol, it's going to actually get an increase. So they, they landed on Pittsburgh and you can see it's got a 400. So red's the first there. One, two, three, four. Really tasty. The next train, let's just say blue. So they've developed a train. I'll, I'll remove these and set. Let's just say Pittsburgh landed here later. Not only are they going to have to pay double the cost, so I should add that it cost the first locomotive red in this case four but the next train to go there is times two so four times two and then if yellow manages to get there it's going to be four times the three so very expensive to lay track layer but they are going to get a oh no actually i don't think they get the plus symbol no they only get the plus symbol after yeah yeah, only, they're only going to get the plus symbol when a development action occurs. And then basically, I'm shooting ahead of myself, but what would happen is this would go up one, and the difference between the two, in this case two, which is quite nice for Pittsburgh because the other is a, a variance of one, and they're going to get any train on there, so blue and red in this case in my example, would go up two on the income track. So it sort of shows you that getting there early is very nice because you not only get that bump up in income but other trains are going to give you that income increase as well based on this one i think that was on four over to oh i'm so losing track of which one i'm on let's just say it's these guys now uh yeah it would have been because these guys are focused on the red these guys they're going to carry on with blue and we're going to up that one and let's go here here now you can see there's a bit of a two horse race here i'm kind of neglecting yellows and greens that's the problem with reenacting two players we're going to go here cost of three six and seven. Oh, i forgot they haven't actually got enough money so let's 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 go rewind slightly i'm going to do an auction instead and we're going to go for a blue so this player they got quite a lot of money actually they're going to say so eight divided by there's one share out there one's coming to play eight divided by two is four is the opening bid uh, well the minimum bid you could uh, increase more if you want so they're going to go 10 11 15 these guys pass 15's paid in and you can see the blue company's now got more cash to develop and hopefully get to chicago which is kind of one of your aims really to increase your income by a lot more that was an auction and these guys are up. Let's just go and do some more trains in red. You can see there's this big desert spot. It's really cheap to, to get through. And, and there's a couple of rule, uh, placements over uh, rules over placement, should I say. You can have as many companies' trains in the desert spots. You can have as many as you want in the cities with the red outlines, and you can have as many as you want in the industrial spots. Now, every time, as I already mentioned, the next train goes there, it's going to cost them, uh, you know, multiplied by how many trains are there. So if you're like the fifth train to get there, five times the, the red number is extremely expensive. So you, you, you're not going to want to do that. But and, unless actually you want to deplete the money from someone's funds, which is an interesting technique. But you can only have a maximum of one company in a forest tile or a mountain tile so bear that in mind now i'm going to kind of leave it there it's, it's pretty obvious you do these actions once they get two of them to red you're going to be doing that dividend phase again you divide these by number of shares get paid your dividends and you keep going round to round but i'm just going to go through a 
couple of extra things. There's something called the Chicago phase. Let's just say Reds have managed to get all the way up here. Once one company, the first company, hits Chicago, you, you get your plus seven. So that's, that's you know one of your main advantages. You go up seven here. And you pay your costs. Now, the Chicago phase, then, is quite unique. It, it, it brings into play this company here, the Warbush Railway Company. And what you do is you take one of their, their black trains, you put it in Warbush, which is where Fort Wayne is here, and that player who initiated that, uh, Reds in this case, uh, say this player, or this player, and they will start the bidding on the auction for blacks. And the minimum bid is one, and there's only two shares here, and this is sort of a an end of game type thing. I, I don't know the historical aspect of it, but it just makes the game slightly interesting because maybe once someone has a share, they want to start developing this and go boom straight back to Chicago. So Black can maybe start shooting up, and it's really interesting as to what people are going to bid on this because sometimes the game's really close to ending. Sometimes you've got a fair bit to go, and it's like, well, how much can I get out of this company and really make some some dollar? So the auction will go for one, someone goes three, four, six, whatever. Now, get a share if no one or if no one wants to get the share then it just stays here which is slightly different from the beginning of the game i forgot to mention the beginning of the game if everyone passes on the share the first person to to start the, the, the bid so they pass we actually get the share for free which is very rare but it can happen and so this company comes into play which means people can decide to auction and get one of these shares as well uh, what else would you do? So any other company that ever gets there, so let's just say Blues have made a network and they come here, clearly they pay double the cost, they would then trigger a... Oh, it's a dividend... Oh, sorry, I completely forgot. Dividend phase, yeah. So what you do is, let's just rewind again. Once that red company gets there, they get the income or whatever, they actually action a dividend phase just for themselves. So red would have been here. So reds are going to see how many shares, free, do the same again. So three into 17 is what, uh, six or seven, whatever it is. And they all get paid out. And then you do this uh, Chicago phase. Uh, you bring out this Warbush company. Any other company who then goes there in future does this Chicago phase again and again, depending on how many companies get there. And that means they basically do the dividend phase again for that company. So a real big advantage to get there. Not only to get plus seven, but you're doing that dividend phase again, which is one up on all the other companies. But clearly you don't do this, this black company again because it's already out. So that's, that's for the first company who gets there. And the game is going to be triggered. I've said how it's going to end. And you're literally going to be adding up all your money. So let's just say, for example, everyone had been going crazy on these houses and there was two left. You will carry on playing until you trigger the dividend phase. So let's just say that had been triggered, two of them. You do the dividend phase again. Boom, game ends and you add up all your money. Your shares are worth nothing so that's why it's crucial as you play throughout the game to to really figure out the auction stages how much you think this yellow share is going to pay you in dividends throughout the game you can see at the moment it's going to take a lot of development to to get it out here and start increasing this because <clears throat> if you've got that first share five's not too bad for you for your dividend because you're the only one but when someone else comes along and, and buys a share because they see you're getting five all the time and uh, i'll put them here uh, it, it, suddenly your dividend is is free so it's a strange game how you actually get negatively impacted as, as more people get into your company. But it doesn't necessarily, like most share games, increase the share price. The more people who buy the shares, it's not increasing the share price. It's only the development on the board that's increasing the the, the share the share value or the, the income track, should I say. So it's all about income rather than the share price and its fluctuation, which just doesn't even matter and it's very strange for the end of the game you've got these shares you worked hard for you pay loads so it's like what i can't even sell them at a price so just bear that man this whole game is about income and about getting the most dividends from that income and let's see if i've missed anything that's slightly different you've got a few more cities at the top here remember if you're putting out these buildings it's a great way to either get money from the forest instantly if you increase on these plus signs a nice way to get income from those and, and various other spots as well there we are folks hopefully that's given you a good insight as to how this one plays very enjoyable game with a higher player count and that is chicago express